Hi, today we're going to learn about infill mesh. Infill mesh is about um, changing the infill density within uh, one um, object. So let's start off by um, loading um, a model. Um, let's go to I've got this one called infill mesh. We're going to load a hammer. Got this hammer here. So right now, as you can see, it's, it's slicing. You can see that if you go layers, the infill is all consistent throughout the whole model. So now, what we want to do now is try and make the, um, say, the handle um, have more uh, density so it's stronger. So let's open up a simple model like a box. Um, so here's just a simple box. Oh, um, before I should have said before we started this, um, we need to go to preferences and configure Cura. By default, um, these two um, are checked under general. So ensure models are kept apart and uh, automatically drop models to the build plate. So if you can see if when, when this is this is the actual default of Cura, so you can see whenever we try and move this together, the, the models will try and stay apart. Um, we don't want that. Uh, what we want to do is go and turn that off. So ensure models are kept apart, and you might want to turn off automatically drop model to the build plate. Close. Right. So we've got these two models. You can select this box and scale it. Let's scale it. Uh, let's move it to the right location first. We'll, and have the center. Oops. Have the center here. And then let's scale it. Um, we can select non-uniform scaling. So we can make it skinnier and increase the length, increase the height. Okay, so now we've done that. What we want to do is um, we want to select uh, per model settings. So selecting that, you can see that um, at the moment we're in simple mode. So uh, uh, in simple mode, it just allows you to um, select which extruder um, you want to print from, print with, sorry. So we want to go advanced, and you can do this on both, um, on any um, 3D printer, not just Ultimaker 3. Um, I can select uh, Ultimaker 2 Plus, just, just for this example. All right, so we're in advanced. Great. Now you can see that under per model setting, it's changed. Um, it's uh, it, it have that option called select settings. Um, so if if you click simple, the per model settings it will be grayed out because um, there's no choice to select which extruder. But if you click advance, then suddenly the per model settings come up. So what um, under advanced, this is the uh, global variable of the whole model, so everything will be set at let's say let's say twenty percent, and it's triangles at the moment. So you can see at the moment, it's it's gonna look at that box as an object as well. All right? We haven't we haven't started playing with this infill mesh yet. So we want to convert this box into an infill mesh. Select settings. And then because um, Cura has over 300 um, unique um, settings, it's quite hard to find um, things sometimes. And, and if you show all, you can see that there's heaps of settings here. Um, so it can be quite daunting. But if you know what you're looking for, you can just go to um, filter. So um, type infill so infill mesh so we want to select this infill mesh and 
maybe you want to select infill mesh model um, you might want to also select infill density um, infill pattern uh, perhaps we'll just stick with that for now and then so all so once you uh, tick that all these uh, options will come up now with your box select selected check on infill mesh and you'll notice that you notice now under layers you see how the gray box is the, the box is now grayed out it's not reading as a model anymore let's go back to solid and what we can do is say put it at 80 percent so this is this is defining um, the properties uh, variables for this particular box uh, so we'll say 80 percent um, let's say I don't know just so that we can see some difference let's click the zigzag and then let's have a look now under layers so you can see now where it intersects that surface it's actually changed it it's infill you can have a look it looks pretty solid I think concept put 80% but let's let's play that again select that object you can put say uh, 60% And, and look at layers again so you can see this you can see there's more openings in there probably not that clear so let's um percent oops let it generate and you can see it's much 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 uh, different uh, you can select infill mesh again and let's say change to concentric can see it's changed that infill pattern to concentric so just by doing that um, just by doing that we actually are creating a more functional um, model using um, um, very simple uh, shapes um, to create a functional model um, besides this, you can actually have an infill mesh within an infill mesh as well. So you can have different levels of infill. Let's bring in the box again, or we can actually um, duplicate this. So duplicate model. So and then it would have created two. Let's scale it down so that we can see. Oops, we can type it in as well. Uh, Let's say uh, 60 or something. Oops. There we go. Let's move that model up. So this one here, we're going to select that model. And it's going to, um, because we duplicated the previous um, box, it's just uh, taken on those um, properties. Um, but we can change the order of the infill mesh. So let's say this is order two, and we're gonna make it concentric, and let's say, I don't know, 20%. Now let's see what happens. Now you can see where it intersects. It's, it's done and gone concentric as well in there. So and you can move that. There you go. So it's changed that again. And you notice that there's uh, actually a, a wall um, where um, to define that space within that space. Um, you can actually control that as well. So if you select select settings, you can click wall thickness, um, check wall thickness. You can even select speed as well. So you can control exactly at that point what what speed that you want so in here we've got wall thickness of one um, maybe we don't want any thickness and we can just select zero 
and you'll notice that see they remove the wall thickness um, yeah so that's in film mesh um, let's let's bring on another example let's clear this uh, edit clear build plate all right I've got another example which is the finger there's a finger here and we're gonna use this as a this wedges as an infill mesh to create a hinge um, a hinge for that um, that finger so selecting that we go into again select settings uh, infill or if you can't find it show all infill so infill check infill mesh infill density infill pattern and you can and and there's so many other uh, things that you can um, control as well um, here but we'll just try that um, now select infill uh, mesh yep and let's say we want that that part to be quite flexible so let's say 10% or even you can do zero but then when it reaches the roof of your object um, it might collapse so let's just put 10% and triangles are quite stiff so let's do concentric and let's go layers and view that so you can see that it's um, less infill where it needs to be. So let's change it to. There you go. So just by doing that, you get a functional finger. Thanks.